College rock climbers from around the Pacific Northwest will be hanging out at Eastern Washington University this weekend. They'll be competing at the school's rec center. KXLY 4's Eric Loney is live now in Cheney with a look at the facility that is as cool as it is green. Yeah, this place is, uh, was built with uh, the en environment in mind. It uses lots of natural light, lots of windows, and they have windows here at the rock wall where this weekend there's going to be about 80 college rock climbers. This is Kevin Klim. He runs the walk wall here at the Recreation Center at Eastern. And uh, what kind of competition is this? You said first of its kind. Yeah, it's a bouldering competition. So students are just going to go climb 15 feet, come back down to the ground again and earn points. And they're competing against uh, students from other universities. They're actually more students from other universities in the surrounding area than actual Eastern students right now. Now they are going to be climbing with ropes. We're watching kids climbing with ropes. But over here, uh, this is what the competition actually is. There's no ropes. Right, that's called bouldering. It's a different. It's just a subset of the sport of climbing. It's different. It tends to be more athletic, uh, more momentum type movement, more um, dynamic. And so he just did that. And how does he get scored? So is that how? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what they're going to be doing for the competition. And the higher th they have to establish themselves on the final hole to to win the points from that particular route. And each point, each route is going to have a point score based on its difficulty. Okay. I want to talk to Mike here. You've done one of these before. What are these like when you have all these people? Like 80 climbers are going to be in here. Uh, it's usually just really fun. Everybody's really supportive. And even though we're competing, you're cheering everybody on and trying to help everybody out. So it's really just a really fun atmosphere. How do you think you're going to do? Ooh, I hope I do good. <laughs> I kind of want to win, but we'll see what happens. We've got some good climbers coming. Okay, cool. Mike, thanks very much. And this, Kevin, one more question. I mean, this thing has everything. There's a guy ice climbing even you can do this here. Yeah, absolutely. This uh, simulated ice panels lets us uh, teach ice climbing and practice ice climbing in a warm environment. We don't have to have our parkas on and, you know, be exposed to the cold. All right, Kevin, really thanks. Good. And thanks all these, uh, these climbers for coming out this morning. This is, if you play, it's like a club if, from the public. If you're not a, a student, you can join the recreation center uh, for about just over 200 bucks a year. And you can, it's just like a gym. You can climb, play basketball. There's ice rink, everything here. Mike Clyde. All right, very cool, Eric. Thanks. Rock climbers from around the Pacific Northwest will hang out at Eastern Washington University this weekend. They'll be competing at the school's rec center. KXLY 4's Eric Loney is live in Cheney this morning to talk about the first competition of its kind in the Northwest. Yeah, good morning, guys. We already got people on the wall here. This is an amazing facility. We've been showing it to you this morning, but now we're going to talk strictly about the climbing wall here. This is Kevin Clem. He uh, runs the climbing wall here at Eastern, and a really unique and sort of first-of-its-kind competition this weekend. Uh, yeah, it is. The Northwest Climbing Collegiate Climbing Competition Series. It's the first time. This is the first kickoff year. We have six universities participating, and we're the kickoff event. So we're the first competition in the series, and the rest of the other five universities will follow over the next two or three months. Now, how many students will be climbing? Uh, we have 80 people signed up now. We expect maybe another 15 to 20 will show up the day of, so maybe 100 students all together from all these different participating universities. Now, I'm not that old, but uh, when I was in college, we didn't have climbing walls like this. Is this just, are most schools building walls like this? Yeah, it's one of the biggest uh, biggest contributors to recreation, recreation facilities nationwide in both college facilities and just regular public facilities, like the Croc Center over in Coeur d'Alene. It's a really popular activity. And how do you have a competition when it comes to rock climbing? I mean, how, how is it scored or is it timed? How do you do it? Um, there's lots of different ways to do it. It can be timed. There are speed climbing competitions, but most competitions are just based on points climbing the most number of routes you can do in a given period of time. So the competitors here will have five hours to accrue as many points as they can. Each route will be given a difficulty rating, a uh, point score, based on how difficult it is. So, so, so if you complete it, you get those points? If you complete it, you get those points, and however many you can complete within a, a given time period. Can come, people come out and watch if they want to this weekend? Um, they can because our facility is so small. If you can imagine 100 people crammed in here climbing, we don't allow spectators here in the facility, in the, the climbing space, but we're going to have uh, feeds, camera feeds all throughout the facility here so people can come and watch it um, through the gates up there. They can look over and see okay. what's going on inside here. All right, great. We're going to keep talking about this next half hour. Mike Clyde, back to you.